thank God he's gone. I fucking hate that guy. Just kidding. They saw me walk in. They're like, what, man? Woo! <laughs> yeah, I gained uh, 25 pounds of body weight, and that's that's my calf training. Of all calf. <laughs> Just walking with it. What's up, guys? I'm here with my good friend, Ross. He's a online coach and personal trainer out here in Vegas. Um, he's been wanting to train legs with me for a while. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> So Ross has a few things, injuries that we're gonna be working around today. Um, little hip bursitis, he told me. Sometimes he feels some shit in his knee. We're gonna see if I can't work some of that old feather mastery and help him to carry over into his own training and uh, fix some of those problems he's been having here in the past. Uh, I think you said the hip thing's been going on for like... Over a year. About honestly. a year? Yeah, it comes and goes. Yeah. So. We're gonna see if we can't implement any strategies to make sure that he doesn't feel that during the session. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, we'll be texting afterwards, obviously, and mostly nude pics. I forgot how fucking light this machine was. <laughs> so we were doing the Cybex uh, seated leg curl first. I'm doing my reps today. I only have two sets. Um, have you been training pretty hard, yeah? Or yeah. are you back after a little bit of a layoff? I'm back. Okay. Yeah. So you've had a few hard weeks of training? Mm -hmm. Past couple weeks. So we'll also do either two or three hard sets here as well. Um, I'm asking these questions because I don't want to just throw him into the volume that I'm doing. <laughs> He's big and strong, kind of like me. We weigh about the same. He's actually a little taller, so he'll probably get a little more damage on the straight leg deadlifts. Oh, yeah. So I'm just making sure that we're not throwing him into, into the volume pool, like the deep end, and then he's fucked up for six weeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> so He has a gym pin. We might need it today. This time. I need it for a pickle for some of them too late. Yeah, this machine is so fucking light. So this is a new seated leg curl machine. Um, on the app, I'm just working up to a load that I potentially will get the same reps as, la or what it's telling me I need to get. So last week, I used a different seated leg curl. I think I did like 130 on it, because it was harder. Um, this one, lighter. This feels about like the 130, I think, uh, on the other machine. So I'll mostly be doing what the app's probably having me beat reps. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today at, on a new machine, but similar loads just by feel. Yeah. That should be good for working sets of like 15 to 20 or so. I've Maybe even 10 to 15. So we'll see. They usually end with something like this. Yeah. So. We'll see. This might help you a lot, man, especially because you're telling me about your loads and how the load seems to be the issue with your hips. Yeah. Doing shit like this or pre-exhausting with like either leg extensions or leg press first and using that first exercise is more of an intensity technique. So like getting a good pump. So if you were to start with leg press, maybe we're gonna do my reps here. Maybe do leg press with like my reps okay. in the 15 to 20 range. Perfect technique, great control and then move on to your shit where you're like used to going pretty fucking heavy because that's going to limit the shit out of the load because your quads are going to be fucking toast. I think that's true because I started pre exhausting the last few weeks and like Perfect. all those pages get disappeared. Really? No shit. Well, yeah. there you go. So this will help us reduce the load because like if I don't do this first, straight leg does, are going to be like four or five and I don't want to fucking do that. Cool. Yeah? Let's do it. Yeah. So this will probably be our working weight. Um, I might even go to 150 instead of 165. I'm a little... I wasn't do you have any it. knee surgeries? No. So this knee, they took a hamstring graft for my knee. Oh, really? And for like the first four years post-surgery, I couldn't do lying leg curls. Because if I did this at all, while I was lying down, it would just cramp immediately. Okay. It was the worst fucking pain ever. No problem anymore? Uh, no, sometimes like I'll feel it on here and I'm like, oof. So today might be one of those days. Perfect. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. That's my excuse for uh, why Ross will be going heavier than me today. We'll see. <laughs> I literally, I trained, uh, trained hamstrings two days ago, just not even putting days together. Oh, yeah. And then it kicked in yesterday, and I was like, hmm, it's going to be fun. I could always I could always modify this to mostly quads. No, no, no. I'm down. Hamstrings have been my biggest focus, and I just finally started getting connected. Well, then, so. them, them uh, recovering is probably very intelligent then. True. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Dude, I was on here the other day. I felt so bad that uh, the chick who works the late shift, I don't remember her name. She had just walked in for her shift, 
and I jumped over my entire intro. And I was like, look, you don't have to mop it for me, but can you like direct me to a mop so I can clean this up for you? That's literally I was, I was like, what a shitty way to start off your shift. That's all it takes because I couldn't tell you how many guys in here dump it, leave it, and then like leave as if it's like someone's spoke. Like, Assholes. Like, I've had multiple guys do it. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, just, <laughs> do you not just clean it up. Like, paper towel, it's not a big deal. <laughs> Mine was beyond repair for paper towel. <laughs> Like it was my big Even jug so. and it was all over this. I was Even just so sitting in the pool. Clean it. Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> all right. So really slow it down at the end here. All right. Forceful. I have a problem with counting to three and then forgetting what's understandable. A lot. <laughs> the pain takes over after a while. You know, I like do it with my clients too. Two. Ow. Yeah. Five. <laughs> I'll have a client. He's like, "How many was that?" I was like, "I think that was 12. Like, that was 27." I was like, "That's what more. I said." <laughs> Good pump. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for like, I think the most I'll work up to on this is three or four sets because those my rep breaks. You're just basically, if you're taking like the effective rep model into consideration, so like how many reps are beyond that proximity to failure or like however many you have in the tank. So in like the data we see like four and below is probably pretty good as far as a good stimulus. So you're just doing more reps at a closer proximity to failure, which is obviously more fatiguing, but it's also grows more muscle tissue. So in one set, we just did like six to eight, maybe 10 effective reps instead of just like a single working set where you're doing like four effective reps yeah so two sets of this is more like three and a half four sets yeah yeah i like doing rest pause a lot i was doing them a little differently but i like i like this just kind of like taking a longer break i was taking so i would do about 15 depending on this 15 or 20 seconds but i was doing three rounds um but i was pushing you can do that like i so, was pushing failure every time though. yeah and that's like a really fucking hard set obviously i'll do sets where i have like two my rep pauses per set Three is a lot, yeah. but I mean, on something like one, this, you could do it. Reps, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I've done it on a leg press before, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. My friend tried to keep up with me too, and he wasn't used to training. You know Mike, mm -hmm. Mike mm -hmm. uh the My Visions photographer. He yeah. works for Gilco. He did a. Uh, he was working with me the whole time, kind of like we went through a whole mess of cycle, but he kept trying to do the same amount of sets as me, and we were doing like three rest, like three per set on the leg press. And he got fucking rabbed though. Oh, no. And I told him not to do it. I was like, oh, Mike, sucks. come on, man. Don't. <laughs> that sucks. That's when the ego beats your ass. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was weird too, man. Cause like he got through the session okay. I was like, damn, we worked today. It doesn't, and then his legs yeah. just fucking locked. Yeah, it doesn't like, happen right away, does it? No. Yeah. That's right. But you'll know if you've worked hard. Like you'll be like, ah, something ain't right. <laughs> I'm going with piss and blood today. Oh, no. Beautiful. Breathe. In the position. Hit it. Two to five. Two to five. Big stretch, hips down. Big stretch, big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Push. Yes. Big stretch, big stretch. Nice and slow. Push. One more, Ross. Come on. Fuck yeah, dude. Good shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Push. 
Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and move over to the platform straight leg deadlifts. Probably gonna use the bumper since we have access to them. Yeah. My uh, hamstring flexibility is pretty good, but when I really keep my knees back on the straight legs, it's a little tougher to touch the uh, floor with these smaller 45s. So I'm just gonna use the bumpers and this is somewhere should I've be enough. Struggle to get a lot of hamstring. Yeah. My oh, glutes we'll and lower back definitely take over, so I'm happy to see this. This yeah. is gonna be fun. Yeah. You know how many times I heard that in London that last weekend? Really? And they were, I was like, how do you feel now? They're like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been looking for. One of them just messaged me that like, my hamstrings have been sore for five days. So I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but not. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. These floors are built to take it. Was that guy using this? What was that? Was that guy using this? That was like that when we first That's got it. That's got a lot of knurling, I don't know. Let's use one different one. Do you want the red bar? Yeah, let's just use this one, because that one has a shitload of knurling. It might fucking break us. Oh, red bar. Nice. Yeah, the red yeah bar sure, like... why not? Yeah, right. I love this bar. It does look nice. Let's yeah. go ahead and put 135 on. So we'll let Ross go first, and I'll try to fix his uh, his issue. Fix my shit. This will be a fun one for you guys. I know you all like to see me correct exercises and stuff. You'll get to hear me use the butthole to the ceiling cue. How many do you want me to go for? Just these? Here, let's just get your technique down. And I have straps, and you'll probably, if you have straps or versos, whatever, I'd use those. But we'll get it down first. Good starting position. Good stuff. How's that feel so far? Hamstring so far. Good. I think that's right here. Slower. Knees back. Knees back. Knees back. Knees back. Knees back. A ton. Butt up and back. Yep. Really push those hips back. Hips and knees back. Hips and knees back. It is absolutely okay if your toes come up. Okay. It's not a huge deal. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah. That makes sorry a different style. Yes. We have a slight more of a bent. 100%. Most people, so. most people are either, when they say they feel it in their glutes and their spinal erectors, they either have a pretty good foundation, but they're reaching way too far forward with the bar, or they're just bending their knees a shitload and treating it like yeah. a deadlift. That's how a straight yeah. leg deadlift, so different go cool. you want a slight bend you're literally trying to push your like if you think about the upper corner of the room you're literally trying to like expose your asshole to that like you're literally spreading your fucking ass yeah. to the back corner of, this, of the room so yeah i think the knees were the missing link because yeah. i do that with my hips but then i was also yeah. keeping my knees shoved forward yeah so, so the second your knees go back your hips are going with them it was all hamstrings so yeah. yeah good it's stuff fixed. cool good stuff we'll try to i'll, I'll be on your ass about it because it's new yeah. So while we go up and wait, for you, we might just like stop it like 225, 275. Perfect, yeah. And really get the technique down today. P.S. I hate this shit. This is probably the type of music I was made to in the back of a car. Oh. oh, yeah. What should I jump it up to next? Uh, you want to go 225 next? What's that? You want to go 225 next? What's up? How many should I be stopping out for these? What's that? Where should I be stopping at for these as far as rep range? Let's just do a good two or three here. Mindful of the cues. Before you even pull it up off the, off the ground, try to get into that position. Okay. So before it even comes off the ground, you might start like shaking a little bit. You know what I mean? You, you'll know you're in a good position because you'll feel all hamstrings. Okay. <clears throat> Big chest, tight lower back, hips and knees back. 
All hands, yeah, Ross. Fuck yeah, dude. Hips, knees, hips, knees. And you can still like, you're very mindful of this, this neutral neck shit, and that's fine. But well, there's nothing to see on the ground. And people who have like lower back issues, especially, you'll hear like this, like neutral neck shit for power lifters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I have no idea. There's no axial loading happening. Like yeah. spine's not being compressed. So this might actually be better for you. Really? Because it helps you to maintain a lordotic spine better. Okay. So like when you're going down, I don't know if I ever when you start doing here. this, it makes it easier for the rest of your spine to move. So if you're here, this is almost cueing you to stay lordotic in the lower back. Okay. And the second you go like this, everything kind of starts to round. It's already putting you in a terrible position to round your lower back. So to okay. keep your lordotic posture, shooting those hips back, I almost look like up at an angle. Not like this. I'm not yeah. cranking my fucking head back, but yeah. that'll you know. be the hardest cue because I think I've, I don't think I've ever looked up in any yeah any deadlifts. <laughs> Basically, my cue for that, like a coaching cue. There ain't shit to see on the ground. Yeah, that's it. Because then the client's like, oh, yeah, okay, big, big chest. It's almost like a reminder, like, oh, big chest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you purposely rolling out to the outside of your, your feet? Uh, just feels comfortable when I'm pushing my knees. So I have one more cue that I haven't told you yet. I like people to get everything else down first. But the second that you start this movement, a lot of people cave their knees in because it actually it's actually putting a little more tension on the lower back. Yeah, and that's hips. So for you, my should be good cue to give because I want you less tension on your hips. I'm pushing my knees out. Okay. The entire time as well. It's actually better for the hamstrings, uh, but most people suck at this movement and they can't think about all those things at one time. So I gave you like two or three coaching cues already. I gave you a fourth one. It's like, all right, I got to do this and then that. Yeah. And then knees back and oh yeah, fuck out. So I'm just trying to like slowly coach you through the movement. Cool. When you told me, yeah, I'm feeling my hamstrings. I was like, okay, we're going to stop there for now. Yeah. So let's keep doing what we're doing. Cool. Yeah. So this for like, so since you're an online coach, you have people sending you videos. How's this look? Those are the things you can look for. Like, first and foremost, protect the back. Get into a good starting position. And as they're going back, they'll be like, oh, you're like, oh man, that looks good objectively. Like, it's like from the front. You're like, give me a video from like quarter angle side. And you notice that the knees aren't going back. Like, okay, boom, perfect. We can now, we can go to the knees. And then if everything looks perfect and they're like, fuck man, I can't figure it out. But can you film from like behind or the front and you notice that they're doing everything right and then you see this Got it. like hey just force your hips open a little bit okay. everything the same force hips open and they're like oh shit, there it is so cool. one or two coaching cues at a time for everybody you yeah. know what i mean that makes sense yeah cool and you get that you personal trained for how many years it's been 10 yeah yeah but no i mean that's yeah. all new cues for yeah. me so whole new world for this exercise yeah uh 275 we can give it a try yeah how, how was that it felt good. Like yeah. I, I could do plenty more, but it actually like I find I can feel it in my hamstrings. Perfect. This is good. But usually it's straight to my glutes, so I don't yeah. really felt that at all. Remember, start in a good position. Hips back, knees back. Yeah. Eyes forward. Knees back. There it is, Ross. Good shit. Hips back, knees back. Big chest. Yeah. Big, big, big chest. Once you get to the floor, hold that tension for like a split second with a light touch. Big chest, big chest. Up. Yeah, there you go. Much better. Big chest, big chest. Hold that tension. Yeah, Ross. Get it from the chest. Lead with the chest. Keep the lower back tight. From the floor, lead with the chest. Better. Big chest. Set it down. 
Hips back, knees back, hips back, knees back, hips back. Hold and go. You're good. Go. good. Set it down like you're gonna do another one, and you're done. Hips back, knees back, 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 back. Done. Oh. Nice. nice. Yeah. How was that? Good. Same or? Yeah, absolutely. Or the load going up didn't affect where you're feeling it? No, no, I actually felt right where it was. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, For sure. Yeah, on the next one, if you want to try that hips open cue, feel free. You're a little, more, you're a little more advanced, so. I started too, but yeah. I can tell it still wasn't yeah. opening it's up. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. Three sets of that. So, oh my God. We've done like, I worked with five sets of that before. I couldn't do that anymore. Numb. Yeah. I want you to like train like this for a long time, super slow negatives. Like you're getting the most out of every fucking rep. Your volume goes down so much. It's changed so much. When I was in Dude. college, everything was five sets of 20. Yeah, literally. I couldn't, couldn't do that if I wanted to on everything. Fuck no. Be in the gym for two and a half hours. Not like this, yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, let's put another one on top. Actually, here, let's just, uh, so it's easier to take off for you. Let's do this. Fuck, here comes the lower back pump. What was that? So here comes the lower back pumps. You've been heavy for a while, right? Yeah. You've been like over 250 for how long? Over a year. See, I just got here. So my I'm getting those lower back pumps. It's still every five pounds, so yeah. when I make a five pound jump, I'm miserable for a while. <laughs> yeah. My breathing is just retarded. Mine's so bad right now. <laughs> I, I get comments on YouTube all the time. Somebody Fear, just why commented, you yeah. so heavy? Oh, sorry, guys. Somebody literally just put that on one of my videos. like, bro, <laughs> are you so out of breath? I was like... I'm just trying to live, man. You're like, get checked for heart failure. I'm like, yeah, thank you. I get biannually fucking echocardiograms. I'm Thanks, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm glad he's breathing heavy heart failure. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Tell your client they're dying. Still good? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going up. Uh, I think I'm 375 today, so I know. <laughs> yeah, Ross. Yep, big chest hits back. Nice, Ross. Chest hits back. Knees back. There you go. Lead with the chest. Lead with the chest, big chest, big chest, big chest. Yeah, Ross. Again, hips open and back. Beautiful. Like you're gonna do another one, set it down. That was good, that was perfect. Done. Oh. Nice, dude. Well, that was good. Fuck yeah. Seeing stars. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to catch a lot of people after deadlifts. <laughs> oh man, that hasn't happened, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <That'd> be hilarious. <laughs> What do you want on? Uh, it's another 25 on top of that. What a stark contrast in music selection. The music? They have someone in Miami who does it all. Oh, And they wow. hit everything. I go through every emotion during a shift here. <laughs> all music. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have one set on the app, so we'll see. If it's two, my lower back's gonna be like, fuck you. Nice. Solid. God damn. Lower back's gonna be pumped as fuck. That was a good set. <laughs> I wasn't bad. Felt good.
You want to do three? I'll make it here. I mean, like uh, three sets. Oh, yeah, of course. I think it'll be good, especially 275. Good, Ross. Great control there at the bottom. Really melt that in range. Beautiful. <clears throat> when you get past the knee, real good control. Control, control, control. <clears throat> Hips back, bar close. But hold up. Yeah. Good, down <clears throat> slow. And then rack. Slow. Oh man. Whew. That was good. Those are solid. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good shit. They're on the verge of cramping hard. Good shit. Whew. Oh yeah. Safe to say you don't feel your lower back and glutes as much? A little bit lower back, but barely anything. Yeah, that's perfect. No glutes. Surprisingly, no glutes. That's good, man. And it's still hitting your glutes. That's the cool part. Yeah. <laughs> Quad exercise. So I have one. Um, Hampton curls, straight leg deadlifts. I have one set today. It should go up in sets next week. I've done 365 week one for six, 365 for seven, and this week was 375. And it's all been one set. So it's probably going to go up next week. Um, the two sets at the same weight. My hamstring MRV is low as fuck. I might do like six to eight sets per week. And that's about all I can recover from. I assume you're probably similar. But you probably have taken volume away from other places so you can grow your hamstring because you're focusing on them. We do it twice a week. Yeah. So I have three today. And then I think four on my other day or maybe three. Three, actually three on my other day too. Been. Six total sets for hamstrings. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. You're trying to emphasize them, right? Yeah. So you're probably taking volume from other muscle groups so you can make up for the... Yeah. But we're going to do a quad exercise next. It's my lighter quad day. So I'm going to try to do something less axial loading. Whether that's a leg press. I don't remember what the fuck I programmed. i got to look at my program. Um, it'll be something like that. Leg press, axe squat. Something. You got a lot of leg presses here? Yeah, tons. So. Cool. cool. We're facing the wall where it said train, and she was standing up against the wall on her phone, leaning right where it says it. But her camera was just on a freeze frame from the last video. Oh, that's funny. So she just wasn't there. So you're like, is there a mirror? I was, yeah, I was looking at it. She was like staring at me. I was fucked up. <laughs> I was very confused. <laughs> I didn't tell her. She probably just thinks I'm a nut. I think it's leg press. I think it's leg press. What are those? Already else. Oh. We gave the headache today. Usually it's a leg press that does it. Oh. <sighs> the suffer. I hate the lower back pump shit. It's the worst part. Stupid stance for an entire session or entire workout. They're just used to having it. Fuck. Yeah, it's not with this much muscle, right? You know. No. When I was uh, when I was wrestling, uh, I was one fifties in college. What up? Test, mm. test, test. Bibbidi babbidi. Hello. Got a long time too. It'd be sick. I was like, it'd be kind of cool, like blue striations for your first show. <laughs> it'd be sick. I can't wait. Yeah. It's crazy having like leg things and shit. No, right? Like, randomly popping out. Like I'm sitting on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good. I'm excited. Yeah. I yeah. see them in here since you guys, since we opened. Yeah. yeah. What do you got there? Sick. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll see you with a little pump. Yeah. That'd be dope. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have a good session, dude. <laughs> we'll try this one, maybe. What's your maybe it'll be better than that one. You can do you want this upper back? Uh, whatever you want to try. I just want to make sure that we, it's the handles are comfortable. Oh, these ones are fine. Yeah. Yeah. Those are just so wide. Yeah. I'm like, like pulling let's out fuck here. that up. 
Weird. This is the exact same arsenal leg press. Uh huh. That's a dragon layer. But they fuck up the handles. Yeah. Mm. Oh. How did they fuck up the handles? What's that? How did they fuck up the handles? They, so these should be more like here. You're, you're like holding out here. So you're like holding, like you're like, yeah. Yeah. We tried to put like, we put two females through a leg session here. That video actually did really well. <laughs> but we tried this one and both of them were just like, yeah, it's. <laughs> I do and my you can't grab forward yeah, either. You yeah. can't, there's not really anywhere to do. Silly. You can Because it is probably the most smooth leg press. You want to put a plate on? Feel free to go ahead if you want. Uh, I want to see where you want. I would probably go there. I have to say based on the angle, I don't, I, I'm not sure where it'll, without actually doing it. Cool. Good. Yeah, I'll just get a... Uh, I'll get something for the lower back. <clears throat> you guys have like a... You have those pads. Yeah? Go on. Yeah, let's grab one. This lower back one's gonna kill me. I know, oh, man. It's fucking... Every time I get above like 250. And like he said, every five pounds after that too. Perfect. Yeah. Um, let's get you into it. I would honestly just use your, your Crocs if okay. you're gonna. My squat shoes don't fit anymore. No shit. Yeah, too small. They're sitting they're brand new. They don't fucking fit. Your feet grew. Yeah. Oh, already a little too snug. Oh, shit. So now it's just not happening. Thanks, GH. You want it down here? Where that is? Half and half. Half and half. So you're almost trying to use it to push your hips toward the pad. Like there? Push it, put, put your hips forward more. And then push the thing. And Where do you normally, uh... For whatever reason, it's on, like, the hack. Pendulum, for fucking sure. That one kills me on it. As soon as I press up, I, like, have to shift my way to the other leg. You just don't do it? Yeah. But I haven't been, yeah. I would like to get back into hacks. Yeah. Um, but then the hack gets this a bit, so we'll see if that's still there. Yeah. But now that I've been focusing a lot more on my hamstrings, I think this is actually dissipating. Yeah. There's also little things. Oh, too bad we're not doing I got to 270 last year for a very quick minute. It was impossible to fucking get in and out of anything. <laughs> just my belly was just in the way of everything. Even just like your car? Oh my god, yeah. Try it, uh. Yeah. Try it there. Try it, uh, vertical. That's okay. See how that. And then, yeah, full seat. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, no pain in the hip. You feel good. Yeah. We'll see once the weight gets heavy. Yeah. That's always where it is.
I want to go to see my mom. Yeah? Yeah. You might end up doing this as we with every quad exercise you do, as far as like squatting pattern or knee flexion pattern. Really focus on when you go to the concentric. It's the same kind of cue, the last cue I gave over there. Don't let your knees valgus. So like Get in your squat stance and then put your hands on where you usually feel the bursitis mm -hmm. and just go like this. Yeah. You feel where that tension shifted? Mm -hmm. Literally, it's right in the hips. Yeah. The reason people valgus and shoot their hips back on the squat is because their quads are giving way and they're trying to put more tension on their hips and butt to move the load. So, especially when we're working on injuries, cut that fucking shit out. Who gives a shit about the load? Like, I might have you do... 405, just non-stop reps while keeping your hips open the entire time and your quads are going to be cooked and cooked and cooked and I'm going to notice you're going to start fucking doing little shit like this or like moving forward a little bit. I'm like, fucking stop that shit because we're trying to train the quads. We're not trying to move the fucking weight. Yeah. You keep saying like, once I get heavier, it hurts. Once I get heavier, fuck heavier. Yeah. You don't need heavier. You need to make sure that this stimulates the fuck out of your quads. That's all I give a shit about. You know what I mean? That's why like I'm not moving impressive loads usually. So like I'm just using good technique. Yeah. So cool. That's why I'm happy like we got our fucking got the train with Nick a few times, you know? Like now he's on YouTube talking about using hundred pound dumbbells. And everybody's like, what the fuck? This guy's yeah. massive. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. So this leg press is light, so we might work to like five plates. But either way, I want you to get into that that thought process of like I'm trying to simulate the quads. This isn't a leg press. It's a quad exercise. Okay. And we want to just make sure that we're stimulating the quads as much as possible. Cool. And that's everything that you do. Why are you doing that machine? Tell me why. And if you tell me it's to train your quads, like, all right, well, let's make the fucking technique for you to train your quads. Like, why are you back squatting? Well, I'm trying to get stronger for powerlifting. All right, let's make that a powerlifting style squat. We're going to go low bar. We're going to be a little wider. We're going to use the whole fucking body to move the load. It's all about specificity. And right now, we are specifically trying to grow muscle. So, same thing here. Cool. N none of this. Yeah, it'll help you. I think it'll help quite a fucking bit. I think so. Yeah, it was, it was very minor, but you're only doing four or five. Though. Yeah. So I figure when you get heavier, you probably do it a little bit and not even notice it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That like, always feels better when I get heavier. If that yeah. makes, I don't know why that makes sense, but. <clears throat> that could trail back into that same mindset, though, is I feel like I'm working when it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, like I said, to start, all these machines are fun, they're cool. Well, I wanna see what I can do on that one and that one. First thing I asked myself was like, is that gonna train the muscles I'm trying to target properly or not? Like whether that's even just using free weight stuff, dumbbells. Well, I'm gonna do a high incline dumbbell, why? Well, it's a little more front out, a little more tricep, and I'm trying to not simulate my chest so much because I have a chest injury right now. Okay, that's probably smart. Or like low incline camera bar bench, like why? Well. That's a deeper stretch for the chest. It's going to cause really great chest growth. So my technique needs to be optimized. I don't need to be sinking my chest in as I'm pressing. I don't need to be rushing the eccentric. I'm trying to melt that shit. So everything has a purpose. All right. Yeah. It's like Kai Green-esque. Now he's so philosophical in his speaking, except it's actually philosophy. Once you can break down what's fucking saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. He talks. <laughs> Still. No periods. <laughs> Zero. What I meant to say, it's like you're making love to the machine. And the machine's a gigantic grapefruit. And this video uh, didn't give me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> so my hips are out like this the whole time. So this here shifts. I can feel my hips right now. Got it. Do you like this? I've used it one time. Yeah. 
I there's mean, like no functional purpose for it. It's it's a cool one to show someone that it's a cool exactly. machine, but I don't have any of my clients do it. You lose all load at the top. Yeah, hundred percent. So, but everyone wants to use it. That's the first machine everyone wants to try. Because you load it heavy, I assume. I don't even think you can. I still think it's heavy as shit. Oh, really? the two plates on that thing is heavy as shit. Oh. It's just because no one else has it. <laughs> Hips open, nice and deep. Keep them open. Knees out. Knees out. Knees out. Yes. Try to get deep. Deep, 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 deep. Knees out. Knees out. Knees out. Yep. Good rack. So fourth and fifth one, I started to feel this just barely. Yeah, yeah, just barely. Where at? Are you feeling it? It's directly under, directly under the. Um, in in which portion of the movement? The the immediate press, like the first like two inches of that press. Okay. It's you are right on that greater turret canter, like directly underneath of it. That's very like you can just touch it. It's sensitive. Mm -hmm. So that's always where it is. Good going down. That initial, like when I'm going up my stairs to my house, as soon as I step up, it like gives. Mm. It's just because it fucking doesn't feel great. What have they uh, done for it so far? We're actually today. He said he's going to work an entire session on it. Um, he said he can feel like gristle, like sand and shit that's in there. He's like, we're going to just work around it. Um, said piriformis and my glute medius, he said, are really, really locked up. Mm -hmm. And so, my glutes have always been a lot more dominant than my legs. So I pretty much stopped specifically training glutes for a while. I just re-added that in and like not even going like heavier or anything, just really trying to work through every motion and it's making it feel a lot better. So I think it's going to stop training my glutes altogether. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just hamstring quads, hamstring quads. Okay. Let's take this to four plates for you. You're going to go into a working set. Um, I'm basically going to have you do like six to eight second Eastern tricks. Okay. Come to the top, stop right before you lock out and come right back down into a six to eight second Eastern trick. And we're going to go like 15 to 20. Okay. What you said actually lines up perfectly because last week I told you I put a band for fucking every exercise just around my ankle or around yeah. my knees and I could train. Yeah. So it's literally that being able to push out. 100%. So that's exactly what it yeah. was. So. Okay. I was even doing it on my leg extensions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are, I mean, like, that's the cool, I got a really good opportunity to do my internship at Juggernaut Training Systems, and Quinn Hinnick was their DPT, helping athletes return to training. So I've been trying to help people train around injuries basically my entire fucking career. Uh, that's been half of what I've done. Yeah. So it's cool, because I can now just kind of, like, watch somebody move. It's like watching somebody's gait and running. And like when I was a strength coach, like I can make you faster and this is how. Yeah. Because I can tell exactly where you're fucking up. It's the same thing. If like you've watched enough movement and you've done it too with clients, you're like, okay, I know exactly why you're not getting deep enough because you're trying to squat like this. Mm -hmm. like, here, let's just do this. Point the toes out a little bit. Oh, look at that. You're deeper. So, yeah. but it's like that with injury. Yeah. I can see just little bitty shifts in your technique can lead to a lot of fucked up shit. I was chain. too focused on just increasing. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. And that's most, and that's the cool thing. Like most of the issues in this realm are the same because most bodybuilders are the same. Most of their injuries come from like Andy's all the inju <laughs> injuries because he just went too fucking heavy, too crazy. Oh yeah. Back in the day. <laughs> he went stupid heavy. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now he's arthritic. You know? <laughs> all right. Hips and knees way out. I almost want your heels in even more. You, you want to wait, wait till you get to the top? No, heels in more. Toes where they are, though. Try that. Beautiful. Deep. Hips open more. Hips open more. Hips open more. Keep them open. Keep them open. How's that? Hips okay? Yep. Open. Open, Ross. Open. The entire time. Deep. 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 Press. Right back down. Every fucking rep, Ross. Deep, 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 deep. Good. Yeah, don't stop till you feel those quads right into your elbow. Yeah, Ross. Down. And I'm right here. You're going to be good. Nice and slow. Hips open. Yes. Keep it up, my man. It's almost meditative. Lean into the pain at the bottom. 
Control, right here, control. Big chest. Yeah. Again, Ross. Nice and slow. Hips open, hips open, hips open. Down again, let's go. Big air, hips open. Hips open on the press, too. Quad, use the quad, use the quad. One more, Ross, one more, one more. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Big chest. Beautiful, done. Ooh. That got hurt fast. Yeah? How <laughs> are the hips? We're good. Nothing? Yeah. A little bit? I feel it there, but it's not like a pain. I just feel stiffness there. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Not making it any worse, though. Perfect. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, if you can leg press like that. Which I don't. You get some big ass legs. Yeah. Yeah. All good. The cool thing when you're training around injury too, like you start include intensity techniques like this, it's a completely novel stimulus. So you grow like a fucking weed. Yeah. As long as you do it right. So like those super slow eccentrics, pushing a bunch of metabolites, doing my rep sets, things like that. It's all higher rep, metabolite accumulating work that will fucking grow your muscle really well. I've definitely gotten better from each injury. Yeah. Just from just putting the hooks on anyways. Dude, hundred percent. Yeah. When I tore my ACL meniscus, I was doing like body weight squats with no lockout, like 15 second eccentrics, oh. which slowly go to like the leg press, a super deficit snatch grip sumo deadlifts with like 225. Dude, it was the worst pain ever. Yeah. So fucking painful, but I got better from it. I can feel the sweeps too, which I never can feel. 100%. I think we're your nicks. Yeah. Same shit. Yeah. What are you aiming for? Uh, I think this is the day where I do 15 to 20 with the mile rip break. Nice. Beautiful. Every rep looks the same. Oh my god, fuck. Fucking pretty. <laughs> How many was that? I think I got 17. You might have been 16. I can't even count your own right. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Woo! I think the pump gets worse after you sit there for a minute. Oh, it's getting worse right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm leveraging my legs out. <laughs> oh my god. Feel free to take your time. Yeah. <laughs> In our fucking driveway. In your driveway? I don't think they took anything, but they they went all through like her um, glove box and her center console tore it all up. But nothing's missing that we can tell. Same thing. Yep. There you go. Right there. There you go. Open and deep. Yeah, Ross. Keep him open. There you go. Good stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. Yes. Control, control, control. Control. 
Control. Control. Press. Yeah, Ross. Control. Control. Hips open. Press. One more. Control. Hips open the whole time. Keep them open. Breathe. No. Don't rack. Hips okay? Okay. Control right here. Open. Open. Press. Open. Open. One more. Open, Ross. Open. Control. Control. Keep them open. Keep them open. Keep them open. Hell yeah. Good, good shot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's good. Hold it down. Oh yeah. Ooh. I assume you train calves. Yeah. I don't really train them. I do. Uh, not everyone will do. But I'll do. I'll do a set with you. <laughs> I'll do a set with you. I wake up and do them. <sighs> I guess I understand how it's like a common like male insecurity. Like I guess I get it. I just like I've never experienced it. Obviously, I never had. I just proper ankle mobility. So once I started actually training them the right way, they did grow quite a bit. <laughs> The past couple of years, my calf has gone, I think like two inches. Yeah. But it was, I was never, I was literally always collapsing into it, bouncing out of it. I was literally training like this, two, three sets, I'm fucking wrecked. Yeah. It's funny that we can understand how left and then just completely negate it when we get to something we like to train. You know what I have to go on my, my client's house all the time about? Everyone gets so good at training like this squats, leg presses, abs. All of a sudden, it's 200 reps of everything. I'm like, do it in 10. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm like, why? Why? There's a, like, I don't feel, especially this one, I don't ever feel my outer sleep anymore. So they feel it feels fucking brand new. Oh, yeah. They're different sizes now. They were early. Yeah, they keep training like this, man. Yeah. Sylvester. That's something these new ass kids probably don't know. What? Tweety Bird and Sylvester. And <laughs> they want to shift to the other side when I press. Yeah, just try. Yeah. Be conscious. Mm -hmm. And the more you're conscious of it, the less you'll do it. Yeah. It's just pattern. It's like, it's called technique acquisition. Same thing with new clients. You watch them come in here. I don't know how to squat at all. Straightly go with it all. After two or three weeks with you, you're like, fuck yeah, this is great. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Just even if you have a leg press on both days, and one day is like my reps, the other day is like this. Just so you have that like stimulus, because what's called a, a SRA curve, stimulus recovery adaptation. Mm -hmm. It works with technique, with hypertrophy, with strength. Neurological adaptation, which is a lot of technique-based stuff. Um, 
the more you can do it with good technique, the faster you get better at it to an extent, obviously. Yeah. Um, so if you do it like two times a week, we're really fucking conscious of keeping both hips open straight. I think you get, get used to it in like three weeks. Yeah. Easy. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You ready for one more? You don't have to be ready. We're doing it anyways. Oh my God. I'm pumped. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. They're only getting more pumps, so it's not going to get any <laughs> Oh my God. My quads. Yeah. Try to do a high knee. It's not fun. Ready? <laughs> Fuck that. It's not vertical. NBA, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Slow. Slow. Yeah, Ross. Open. Keep them open. Yep. Beautiful, man. <sighs> Yep. Open. 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 Again. Let's go. Come on, Ross. Lean into it. Slow. One more. Lean to the pain, Ross. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Yes. Yes. Done. Good. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'll be keeping up with him today. Good right. shit, Ross. Guys, we're going to do some calves. So if that's it. <laughs> I'll just do it here. I'll be here for the video. We're going to let Ross just think about life and his decisions <laughs> and what led him here. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to flash all Ross's stuff up on the screen so you guys can go give him a follow, sign up for his online coaching. Ross is a really good online coach. One of the few people I would recommend. So I'm going to give all those links and stuff in the description. And uh, you guys head on over there. And get you some good coaching. For now, like, share, subscribe, all that YouTube shit. We're out. Mm.